you, bud. Hey, how you doing? doing, man? I've been waiting for this for a long time. <laughs> Uh, just see the yep. Thank you. All right, thanks, bud. Have a good one. Yep, thanks. Woohoo! I believe it's finally here. Finally here? I didn't think so. Yes, it's true. It's finally here. Uh, almost exactly two months later than what I originally expected. Original ship date on this was projected to be May, or yeah, the ship date was supposed to be May 27th. And uh, today is July 30th. So almost exactly two months, but my one wheel pint is actually here. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. Life is about to get more awesome. Well, I mean, my life is pretty awesome already, but who can't take a little bit more awesome? All right, there she is. Um, I forget what color this is even called. It's like the, it's not the sage, it's just like the, the grayish color, I believe. And where is my free mud guard? Hmm. That was part of the uh, part of the promotion to buy it on day one was you got a free mud guard. Don't see it. Hmm. Guess we'll have to figure that out. Yep. Nothing else in there. Okay. Let's, let's ditch this box and set it up. Okay, here is the box that comes with it. Included is your instructions, the charger, which is a 1.3 amp charger at 63 volts. Not the fastest charger in the world. Cards. And I think that's it. That is it. So now in the pint ear itself, you have a little meet your front foot pad. I, uh, I understand the simple stop is turned on by default. And this is just explaining the dynamics of having a sensor on either side. So we don't need that. All right, so I, I imagine that the board comes with some charge power button is over here right here let's turn it on it's interesting that it's like a rubberized power button now feels more water resistant and here we have the cool sensor pad which will let you know a lot of things, battery level. Like right now this is displaying a battery level, which looks like it might be, I don't know, 30% maybe. Also tells you if it's detecting pressure on both sides of the foot pad. So if it's a bright blue on both sides, it, it detects your foot across the pad as it should be. Also tells you what mode you're in. And if simple stop is enabled, I believe. Let me, uh, let me go get my phone so I can turn on the app just to get a view of the front lights. A little bit more modern looking LED than what's on the XR. And um, the back, let's see, what's the back look like? Same thing. I assume like the XR it reverses the based on your direction. You'll have white, white uh, in your forward direction and red in your rear direction. All right, so we got my phone here. Let's, let's get the one wheel app up and see, see what it does. Let's see if it sees anything. Okay, I see a OW115802. That's probably me. Let's connect to it. Power up your board by pressing the power button on the front left side. I already did that. Getting on. I know how to get on. Engage a pad. I know how to do that. I think I know how to ride. Simple stop dismount. We'll be practicing that. Oh, wow. It even has a slow motion video of how you stop. 
talks about the heel lift dismount. I'll definitely be trying that as well on the pint to see how it compares with the XR. And a video demonstrating that. Talks about pushback, okay, cool. And digital shaping. Let's ride. All right, so it looks like the board is uh, in Pacific mode to start. And I would probably, Skyline, I wonder what that is. Gives you a little icon telling you this simple stop is enabled. You can see the LED bar changing as I'm going through different uh, settings. Pacific elevated Skyline, oh, it's interesting. So it doesn't have uh, all the same modes as the XR, okay. I guess we'll try Pacific first and we'll see how that is. So uh, before I do anything though, I wanna charge it up. So we're gonna uh, stop the video here, charge up the board and then uh, go have some fun. Welcome to uh, day two of pint ownership for me. I didn't get a chance to get out on the road with it uh, yesterday. Today I have it with me. I also have the XR with, just for comparison's sake, do some side-by-side uh, -side comparisons. But I'm over at the school, at the famous, infamous, whatever you want to call it, the school. Let's give the pint its first go-around and let you know what I think. Um, I already can tell you I like the, um, the mag handle convenient. I think it's a more convenient way to move the board around than uh, grabbing it by the end like you have to with the XR, so I'm a fan of the mag handle. Alright, I'm not really sure, you know, the modes are different with the pint. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Skyline because it looks like guys are doing some sporty things on there, so I'm assuming that's probably the most aggressive setting for the pint. So we're going to try that first. I have it turned on, and um, here we go my first feet on a pint. My feet look pretty big. We need to try simple stop, don't we? I'm going to stop and reverse slightly. Not too bad. I can tell you, um, have another mic set up today, by the way. Got a little, little um, mic plugged into the side here. See how that works compared to using the um, the wired mic, the wired lav mic. So yeah, that felt interesting. Let's uh, let's ride around some more, holding the selfie stick. I can tell with the um, the smaller, more rounded tire, it feels a little more. If you're being a pessimist, you would say squirrely. If you're being an optimist, you would say uh, more agile. <laughs> yeah. I definitely don't feel as sure of myself as I do in an XR. But, um, you yeah, know, that's to be expected.
I'm not, I'm not going for top end speed, but I just mean as far as acceleration and braking, uh, it feels on par with the XR. Dude, not a problem at all. Simple stop while holding a subly stick. Let's try it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be easier for a beginner to get the hang of. The only problem is, is um, and one wheel's done, uh, Future Motion has done videos about this, is um, you don't want to have, like, shift all of your center of balance backwards. You just kind of want to nudge it back um, so you don't go falling off the back end. But I think Simple Stop is great. I would have liked to have learned with that. But, of course, I do need to see if a uh, heel loop will work. I wonder if, if you simple stop enabled, if you can still do a heel lift stop. Or if it disables that. I guess I should figure that out, huh? Alright, let's, let's try that. Alright. Let's try to do a heel lift. Oh, okay. So you, even though you have simple stop enabled, you can still do heel lift. So that's good. Um, the fit and the finish of this, of the uh, pint, which I, I didn't talk a whole lot about when I unboxed it, it definitely feels uh, next level. It feels like um, a, a, uh, a more refined product than the XR. That's just your initial impressions of the build. If you had an XR, uh, you know what I. You you would you would immediately notice the uh, the differences in the XR versus the Pint. The XR almost feels like a like a, a bolt together DIY kit in some ways. Uh, the Pint uh, does not give me that impression. adjusted to the uh, different uh, tire profile. I mean, it, it took all five minutes. solid all-around mode. Elevated is at, at a mode where you have the nose up, which I never use. And Skyline, yep. Yeah, so it looks like Skyline um, is the most aggressive mode, which I have it on right now. And uh, it feels good. Right. Got my first little bit of pushback there. So I must have touched 16. So I thought that they said that the top speed on this was 15. So, I mean, I, I rarely ride over 16 miles an hour. So, I mean, this, this really will do pretty much what I need in almost all of my riding situations. You know, I'm not a crazy aggressive um, trail rider. And even though it is smaller, you know, my size 15, size 15, size 13 feet still fit on the board okay.
previous development. Okay. First off-roading on the pint. So far I don't really... I'm not seeing a lot of penalties for it being a smaller device. Really, not at all. Smaller device at nearly half the cost. That um, battery here is, is small. Listed for a max range of eight miles, which is not a ton. But I am very confident that they're going to come up with a third-party way to extend that range, and it's not going to take very long. take them up on it. I just need to make sure that uh, Cindy's available to pick me up if it doesn't work out. But uh, they said that I should try to see if I can take the pint to Dunkin' Donuts. Obviously I couldn't go there and back, but just going one way is 10 miles. So it would be kind of a miracle if I could pull that off, but it would be an interesting test. So we'll see. It might be in the future. I just ran over like a bunch of like leaves and, and little debris in the street. Nothing hit my legs. That's bizarre. I did not uh, alter the PSI of the tire. I'm not sure what it ships with, uh, but it feels fine to me. Whatever pressure they have it at. things about this is you know whatever the next iteration of the XR is going to be they're going to obviously use uh, what they put into the pint into building the XR which is going to make the, uh, you know, the long range full size model even better. Exciting time to be a one wheeler. All right I'm going to try to go back to the, uh, the car through this grass field. Extreme!
actually riding this at the same speed that I can ride my XR at. So I, I, I personally, I don't feel any speed penalty whatsoever. Check that out if you can see it. 6.1 miles, 46% battery left. Interesting, I might be able to make it to Dunkin' Donuts. That'd be crazy. This predicts that I have five miles of range left, so I might be able to make it to uh, Dunkin' Donuts. That would be nuts. All right, here you get a look at the XR versus the Pint opposing each other. Here you get a view of uh, upside down. You can see the difference in the tire and the size of the board itself. You know, it's, it's obviously there, but it's not massive. Side by side, sitting upright. And a side by side profile. As far as the height of the deck, I mean, it seems like your riding position, your height is almost the same. Fraction of an inch, if anything. How do you like that? This is a 3D printed stand that I actually made for Cindy's regular skateboard, but it also fits the pint perfectly. Um, I might have to modify that and uh, start selling that on my store. I mean, it's, it's, it's a perfect fit. Very nice. So there you go. There's my initial uh, ride of the pint unboxing and ride and thoughts. Uh, the, uh, the Cliff Notes version is, it's awesome. For less than a thousand dollars, it's it legitimately from someone that, you know, is a, uh, I've had a one wheel XR for over a year now. It's every bit of the one wheel experience that I'm used to with the XR outside of it doesn't have the range. But I think um, at least down here in flat Florida, I'm gonna get more range than advertised based on those numbers. I did six miles and I had 46% battery remaining, so that's pretty impressive. The, uh, the fact that for some odd reason, I don't understand the physics, um, but I, I got next to nothing on my legs, even though I don't have my mudguard yet on the pint. And I rode through a, a considerable amount of debris in the ride. I did not get anything pelting off my legs. Now, of course, the fender would, ha would help if you're riding through wet conditions. But we all know how um, one wheels are with, uh, with moisture. You're uh, taking matters into your own hands if you do that. At least from a warranty perspective. So, anyways, look for a lot more pint content to come. I know Cindy said that she was interested in riding this this weekend. It'll be interesting to get her feedback on it. Uh, simple stop is cool. Not hard, as the name implies, it's pretty simple. And I think it's definitely a better alternative for beginners to learn how to stop and get off the board. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the um, notify bell right there to let you know of future videos. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts about the One Wheel Pint in the uh, comment section below. And that's all I have for you for now. Talk to you again soon. Till next time, Duff Man out. Look for these stands uh, sometime, hopefully soon, on EUCArmy.com.